Seattle. <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> We're here at Week Fest. It's 2021. We're looking at cars. <laughs> Lots of cool cars and some cheesy cars. But we like them too. They give pulp. car show that we've been at since everything went down and uh, it's great to see so many faces so many familiar faces and new faces um, yeah like John said we, we like uh, judge cars based on execution visual style quality of work quality of parts and if you have a good story behind your build like a good story not like your typical story where you just bought parts to put on your car We'd love to hear it. We're a community here. We're here to share ideas. We're here to share stories. And that's the most important thing about doing week fest and car shows like this. Some friends and I brought our cars down so people can check them out. And we're checking out everyone else too. It's fun to um, see the people we run into. Um, lots of cool people that we run into down here. John, this is my 1990 BMW M3. I've owned the car for about 16 years now. Uh, it's been a passion project of mine. My dad is a huge car uh, fan, mostly German cars, so I grew up around a lot of um, Mercedes, BMW, stuff like that. He always liked the Tinker. The M3 was kind of the, uh, the epitome car for me because it was a track-oriented car that BMW made for Group A racing. So my whole goal with this was to try to kind of make it an homage to that, keeping kind of all the details very period correct at the same time, kind of making it my own. So obviously it's a street car, but I wanted to give it that track vibe to pay homage to, to Group A racing. Today I'm running uh, Volk Racing T37s. It took me about three years to find uh, 16 by 8, 5 by 120 T37s, and we actually were able to find them in Japan. We refinished them. They're from 1998. Once again, period correctness was was key. So, so yeah, it's it's been a passion project. I've always been into older cars. Um, my dad used to take me to the used to take me to the good guys hot rod shows. And um, we'd walk around for hours and hours and hours and look at the old hot rods. And um, when I was growing up, I had Civics and all sorts of stuff, but you know, I've just always loved older cars. Um, I had a friend in the Bay Area who had a 510 and I had a Mini Cooper at the time, a 1968 Mini Cooper. And he always wanted to trade. He always he loved my Mini. He wanted to drive my Mini and I just fell in love with the Datsun. So it's like a little tiny muscle car, you know, rear wheel drive. It's little, I've always liked small cars. And it, it, it was like kind of the, 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 the main first Japanese tuner car, really. You know, so I've always loved the history about it. Um, the race history is awesome with that car. And I've just held on to it, you know. And I've had other newer cars along the way, they just come and go. But the 510 is always something that, you know, it, it just had the, the culture that I liked. Get what you deserve I'm your nightmare while you're fast asleep Wrong, it's never felt so right And revenge has never felt so sweet I will be your worst and darkest dream I'm gonna do bad things Do it like it's nothing Being bad has never felt so good I'm gonna do bad things You won't see it coming What you said I've been thinking of Doing bad things to you Do it. 